ten drugs that is Actea racemosa, Aesculus, Ethusa, Agaricus, Agnus, Allium sipa, Allosocatrina, Alumina, Ambragracia, and Ammonium carb. So here my objectives. Understand the key symptoms of drugs from Allen's keynote with family, common name and part use. Learn the comparison of the drug and understand the relation of the drugs. So first we are going to see what are the common name, family and part use of 10 drugs. Then we can see each uh, important symptoms from each drugs with comparison and few points from uh, Boric, which is often used in this type of examinations. Okay. So today, first drug is we are going to see that is uh, for common name, family and part use is Actea racemosa. So name is black cohash, then Simsifuga racemosa, Actea monogamia. Uh, excuse me, uh, Dr. Fatima. Yes, yes. Uh, screen is not available. Screen is not available. Okay, one minute, let me check. Now is it visible? Now yeah, is it visible? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So Actea Resimusa, the common names are Black Cohosh, Simsifuga Resimusa, Actea Monogia, and then uh, Simsifuga Serpetanaria, and then mac Macrotasis Resimusa, and Black Snake Root. So then family belongs to Renan Glacier family. The part uses tincture of the root, trituration, uh, which is pre prepared from trituration and of resinoid. And then Esculus is the horse uh, chestnut and the family Spinodaceae, the tincture of the ripe kernel type tincture of uh, means it is prepared from the ripe kernel and which is used to do tincture, uh, sorry, triturated and then also with the fruit with capsule. Uh, can be used. Then Ethusa, it's a fool's uh, palsy, Amblypheraceae family, and tincture of the whole flowering plant is used. And then Agaricus, it's a toadstool, and other names that I mentioned. So please go through it. And the fungi uh, family is, uh, it belongs to the fungus. Okay. And here also, uh, tincture is used uh, from the fresh fungus. And then Ag Agnes. This is the chase tree and Verbinaceae family. This is also prepared from ripe berries. And next about Allium sipa. So I see everyone know it's a common red on air and it belongs to the family Liliaceae. The part used is whole fresh plant, which is mainly gathered from July to August. Then Allosocatrina as a common name also. Socotrina aloes, family Liliaceae, trituration or solution. It's prepared from the spirit of gum. Then alumina, it is nothing but mineral and it is a pure clay or it can be a uh, uh, tell us uh, potassium aluminum sulfate. So the pure crystals are triturated here and it can be used as a medicine. Then umbra gracia. Uh, Umbra gracia is basically a no sword and which is, uh, which is prepared in the form of trituration and tincture. And it is uh, it's a morbid uh, what product found in the sperm whale or floating in the sea. And then ammonium carbonicum is a smelling salt, everyone know. And it is uh, it's a solution. No? So its solution is dissolved in water, can be used in a preparation of medicine. Then ne next about... Now we are going to see each and every drug with the comparison and uh, important symptoms. So now we are going to see with Actea racemosa. So in Actea racemosa, uh, the patient will have the purpural mania and think she is going crazy. And this symptom, the thing she is growing crazy is compared with syphilinum. And what patient feel in syphilinum is sensation as if going insane. So this is the comparison. In Actea racemosa, uh, she thinks going great, going crazy. Crazy. And in syphilinum, uh, the person will think sensation as if going insane. So this is the comparative symptom, symptoms and it's a try to injure herself. So um, next about the sensation. 
as if a heavy black could had settled all over her and enveloped her so she will develop some sort of darkness and confusion in her thinking why because because due to this peculiar sensation which is heavy black cloud had settled all over her and enveloped her head then about illusion of mouse running under her chair so this is the common thing when we came to uh, once uh, what uh, this is a common symptoms when we think about actia resmusa we suddenly came into uh, this symptom is suddenly came into our mind so this symptom is compared with lacanainam and etusa in lacanainam what uh, she will think it's more of uh, it's more due to emotional cause and she thinks her uh, disease is incurable has not a friend living not nothing worth living for and could be at any moment so she will think that i am uh, i am living for uh, my living is way of my living is useless i am not worth for anything so this is the, and her disease is incurable so this is the sort of uh, illusion is compared here in uh, lack canainam and she will uh, weep at any moment without any reason in etusa uh, she will think that uh, she will not think she will have some delirious uh, thinking and she will uh, have uh, seeing the rats cats and dogs so because of this delirious uh, tendency she is in capacity to think so she became confused so these are the symptoms is compared with etusa and lacanenum in lacanenum she thinks her disease is incurable i am not worth for living uh, i have no friends like that in etusa she uh, she will uh, see some rat cat dogs etc due to the delirious uh, pattern okay so this is the symptom then about the heart symptom heart actions stop suddenly impending suffocation palpitation from least motion and this symptom is compared with digitalis so in digitalis we are uh, seeing that sensation as if heart would stop beating if she moved so in digitalis she think if uh, if she uh, begin to move her uh, heart is stop beating so similar uh, similar thing is compared with gelsemium where she thinks if she is not moving her heart is stopped beating so it is constantly on the move heart will stop beating so this is the uh, symptom compared with digitalis and uh, this one um, gelsemium and then about the female female symptom that is menses irregular exhausting and in this exhausting this menses irregular extra exhausting is compared in alumina and coclus uh, in alumina mainly the exhaustion will be felt by the patient after the menses and scarcely able to speak and she is very scarcely able to uh, speak and uh, this exhaustion is uh, reflected in both physical and mental level this this is the difference between um, actia resmusa and alumina in coclus we can see during this effort uh, during the effort of menstruate she is so weak she is scarcely able to stand from weakness of lower limb after each period of hemorrhoids so in this patient will have uh, hemorrhoids also and she is very uh, what uh, very weak even to stand so in the above symptom we see uh, in alumina scarcely able to speak and in co in coclus we are seeing that the scarcely able to stand from weakness of lower limbs after each period so this is also occurring after menses and alumina also there is exhaustion physically mentally scarcely able to speak is also of um, occurring after menses and this patient this coclus patient uh, will have uh, repeated uh, hemorrhoidal tendency too then severe left sided infra mammary pain will be seen in both symptom okay uh, so this is then compared with ostilago also between periods there is a constant suffering and under uh, left breast at the margin of the ribs so in female uh, the severe left infra mammary pain is also felt in ostilago and where ostilago the pain is mainly uh, under the left breast and mainly at the margin of the ribs so these are the main comparative symptom and in the, in non seeing into the menses again the menses is delayed or suppressed by mental emotion or from cold or from fever with chorea 
hysteria or mania and increase of mental symptoms okay this the symptoms and in acute rsm so all the symptoms are mainly occurring during the menses and in alumina and coca it's mainly uh, sorry in coccyx it's mainly the after the menses so next about pregnancy is is nausea sleeplessness false labor like pain sharp pain across the abdomen and abortion at the third month so in the abortion at the third month is again compared with sabena here we can see what tendency to miscarriage especially at the third month here it's a pregnancy a abortion at the third month and but in sabena patient will have the disposition or tendency towards miscarriage at the third month and then about during lab labor she was in the first stage convulsion from nervous excitement rigid os pain uh, severe spasmodic and tedious aggravated by least motion so here the first stage of labor, labor the symptoms are originated due to the uh, nervous excitement okay so and then when given during the last month of pregnancy it shortened the labor if correspond uh, symptoms correspond so if a person is uh, peculiarly uh, uh, reflecting or uh, showing the symptoms of actia rasmosa at the last stage of uh, the labor means surely we can give this medicine uh that uh, actia rasmosa and again this actia rasmosa is again compared with colophyllum and pulsatilla so pulsatilla is a common remedy is everyone know so what is the symptom want of expulsive power inertia of uterus and child head is in the opening of the pelvis and the action of the womb is insufficient for expulsion so, so there will be a a uh, constant uh, uh, inertia of the uterus so there is there won't be no power at all to expel the uterus so at that time we can think of pulsatilla and in case of colophyllum uh, the, the labor pain shorts irregular and spasmodic useless pain in the beginning of labor so in uh, as we see this pain is mainly during the first stage of labor the actia rasmosa pain is mainly due to nervous excitement and in colophyllum its pain is uh, mainly due to the spasmodic affection okay and it is the useless pain is the uh, beginning of the labor so it is the uh, it is more like false like pain there will be no progress of uh, labor pain so it is an useless in the beginning of the labor this symptom is can be differentiated with colophyllum also and next rheumatic pain so in actia rasmosa the rheumatic pain uh, a pain in muscles of neck and back feel stiff lame contract, uh, contracted spine is sensitive from using arms in swing type of right typewriting and piano playing so in actia rasmosa the pain of the muscle is mainly due to uh, sorry the pain is mainly origin from the muscular uh, origin okay and in case and it is compared with agaricus and ranunculus bulbosus in agaricus the pain origin is due to the neuralgic pain that is the main difference there and here is also stiffness is present okay and since it is a neuralgic pain patient will develop some sort of jerking twitching trembling itching or the strong indication so in agaricus spine is also sensitive to touch and more of neuralgic pain with the stiff all over jerking twitching trembling itching or strong indication of the agaricus so these are the symptom is compared with actia rasm simsifuga and and uh, agaricus then we can come to the ranunculosis bulbosus and ranunculosis bulbosus the pain is due to the muscular pain and it is also rheumatic uh, muscular rheumatism and but it's there is a one peculiar thing is it, uh, one should be noted that is muscular pain about margin of the shoulder blade in women of sedentary employment often burning in a small spot from needle work typewriting piano playing so we can see uh, we can see that similar symptom we are seeing in actia rasmosa also but here the nature of the pain is also belongs to muscular origin but location is very much important here uh, there is a general location is mainly in the muscles of neck and back feels uh, 
back okay and spine is sensitive to touch and here it's the location is about the margin of the shoulder blades and uh, fr from that also there is some peculiarity it belongs to the women who have sedentary employment so it can be often think of uh, tailors uh, uh, typewriting and piano players okay so these are the symptoms comparing here next about few symptoms uh, that is uh, often uh, noted from uh, boric in boric that is agitation and pain indicated it and great depression with a dream of impending evil it is less the frequency and force of the uh, pulse suits the pain and allays irritability fear riding in a closed carriage of being obliged to jumped out weighing sensation or opening and shutting sensation in the brain brain feels too large pressing outward pain asnopia associated with pelvic trouble with photo photophobia from artificial light and there will be an intense pain of eyeball from eyes to top of the head it's a uh, some sort of radiating pain from eye to top of the head and pain across the pelvis from hip to hip it's uh, it's more or like similar to sabena it's something like uh, round pain so pain from pelvis, uh, pelvis from hip to hip then there will be an inframammary pain as we uh, saw already it's mainly in left side and facial blemish in young women stiffness and contraction of neck and back and intercostal rheumatism so rheumatism is uh, it is also present in the uh, neck and back and it's also seen in intercostal region so then about the aggravation modality and relationship in aggravation it's mainly and while seeing the uh, menses or uh, the female symptom we see that all the symptoms are aggravated during menstruation so the gen common uh, modality seen in uh, acter esomosa is during menstruation the more the profuse the flow flow the greater the suffering how much she uh, prone to profuse that much her suffering is more that's the thing okay then it is relationship it is compared to so yeah, now we are seeing lot of uh, differentiation with this we can understand it is similar to colophyllum pulsatla in uterine and rheumatic affection to agar agaricus and lilium tea and sepia so next we can seeing about the next uh, drug that is aspirin this is uh, uh, for whom it belong to first we can see that for person with hemorrhoidal tendency and who suffers with gastric bilious or catarrhal troubles so these things are important then fullness in various parts here the patient will uh, have that fullness feeling in various parts wherever what are the location we are seeing one by one is a amount of undue amount of blood heart lungs stomach brain pelvis and skin so in these particular area patient will have fullness okay then despondent gloomy very irritable loose temper easily and gains control very slowly so these sort of patient will be uh, so much despondent they will be gloomy and very irritable and they loses their temper very easily and gains control very slowly and miserably cross and this symptom is compared with chamomilla in chamomilla is being a child remedy so the nature of the uh, chamomilla baby is that mental nature child exceedingly irritable fretful quite only when carried impatient want this or that and becomes angry when refused or when offered blatantly reject it too ugly to live and cross and spiteful so these are the symptoms compared with chamomilla then about the frequent inclination to swallow with burning pricking stinking and dry constricted faces so uh, this symptom is compared with epis and belladonna as we know epis there is a uh, uh, there is a peculiar nature uh, nature of the pain is uh, itself a burning pain stinking and sore this is the nature of the peculiar nature of this epis uh, pain so this is compared uh, this is uh, again comparing with this remedy so in epis pain is burning stinging sore and suddenly migrate from one joint to another one part to another and the pain is extreme sensitive to touch and in belladonna again this being a throat symptom and the belladonna the tonsil became inflamed after raiding in a cold wind pain you 
usually short attacks causes redness of face and eyes fullness of head thrombing carotid pain comes suddenly and goes suddenly so here patient will have some sort of pain which is come suddenly and goes suddenly and patient will develop some redness of face eyes and fullness of head and thrombing carotid carotid due to the congestion of blood and uh, the pain is usually short attack when it comes suddenly and goes suddenly of course it's a pain is short attack in nature and it's uh, and the, wherever the congestion is seen there will be an inflammation so tonsil became inflamed and mainly it get ailment after or it get aggravated after raiding in a cold event that the symptom is comparing so main burning stinking uh, sore general peculiar symptom of epilepsy is compared here with this drug okay esculus and next about the rectum here rectum is dry rectum which is dryness and heat of heat of fetus is full of small stick knife like pain shoot up in rectum hemorrhoids blind painful burning purplish rarely bleeding so this symptom that is knife like pain shoot up uh, shoot up the rectum so these symptom is uh, compare again compared with ignisia and sulfur so in sulfur uh, the constipation there is a large painful uh, large and painful stool as if burnt okay then stool is hard knotty and dry child is afraid to have the stool on account of pain and or pain compels the child to sit on first effort so this is the comparative symptom mainly the pain is children child is afraid to have a stool on account of pain that's the thing and then all this hemorrhoids which has been treated with suppressed or treated or suppressed with ointments in ignisia uh, constipation from carriage riding of paralytic origin with excessive urging felt more in the upper abdomen with great pain dread to go to closet in women who are habitual coffee drinkers so in ignisia uh, ignisia the patient who having who are having the habitual coffee drinkers mainly seen in women will have uh, constipation uh, with great pain who dread to go to closet okay and then other apart from this uh, the mainly the uh, constipation of paralytic origin may uh, ailment from carriage riding so these are the thing is compare here and then rectum sore with fullness burning and itching as we seen already and next constipation is dry hot difficult to pass with a dryness and heat of rectum and here another important symptom all the esculus right all the esculus uh, symptoms are accompanied with severe lumbago lumbo sacral backache this is the key symptom wherever you find the severe lumbo sacral pain with constipation or with leucorrhea we can think of esculus okay then stool is followed by fullness of rectum and intense pain in anus for hours so um, as we see uh, in sulfur the due to that uh, pain patient is uh, sorry child is afraid to have the stool okay that the symptom so similarly in ignisia also we seen already that the symptom compared and then in aloes the pain stops after stool leaving profuse actually patient here is also patient is feeling severe pain but after the pain patient uh, will have extreme or a patient will develop extreme weakness and preceded by sweating so and there will be an obstinate constipation that the thing seen in aloes and uh, next about muriatic acid in muriatic acid there is a tendency to involuntary evacuation while micturating that this thing is compared in muriatic acid where the with the pain then prolapse of uterine and acrid dark leucorrhea with lumbo sacral backache and great fatigue from walking and there will be severe dull backache in lumbo sacral articulation more or less constant affecting sacrum and hips so again i'm uh, as i told earlier severe dull backache in the lumbo sacral articulation is the key symptom or the any symptom that is accompanied with severe uh, lower lumbo back 
lumbosacral uh, pain is again the indicate indicated to aspilus back gives out during pregnancy prolapse leporia when walking or stooping must sit or lie down sensation of heaviness and lameness in the back paralytic feeling in arms leg and spine next about veins in pharynx is distended and protrus uh, follicular pharyngitis connected with hepatic congestion burning in anus with chills up and down back constant thrombing behind symphysis pubis leucorrhea with lameness of back across the sacroiliac articulation laryngitis cuff depending on hepatic disorder uh, disorder and then about the uh, modalities and relationship in modality of course aggravation motion then back ache and soreness by walking and stooping inhaling cold air relationship is mainly similar to allos colonsonia ignitia muriatic acid naxomica sulfur in hemorrhoids after colonsonia had improved piles esculus often cures only colonsonia is improved it's not failed to uh, cure we can think of uh, esculus so this is an important symptom please make a note of it and useful after nux and sulfur has improved but failed to cure the piles the next drug is etusa sinapium especially for the children during dentition in hot summer weather children who cannot bear milk okay and great weakness children cannot stand up stand unable to hold the head which is compared with abrotana which we have uh, seen already in the previous session if you have any doubt just kindly go through that and prostration with sleepiness then herpetic eruption on the end of the nose and it's there will be a complete absence of thirst the key symptom in this things are children mainly the children get affected who is who is getting affected mean mainly the during the dentition uh, children okay mainly in summer weather and children who cannot bear milk in any form and patient, so uh, once there is a, a affection patient uh, patient or child will have a great weakness and prostration with the sleepiness and there will be a herpetic eruption on the end of the nose and uh, another key symptom that is a complete of thirst so similar symptom can be uh, seen in the epis and pulsa atla in epis thirstlessness uh, in anasarca or ascites and pulsa atla thirstlessness is nearly present in all the complaints and arsenica malbum it's a reverse of arsenica uh, uh, arsenica malbum in arsenica malbum burning thirst without special desire to drink and stomach does not tolerate it so these are the uh, comparative symptoms next intolerance of milk cannot bear milk in any form and it is vomited in large curds as soon as taken and weakness causes drowsiness and this symptom is compared with madcap in madcap the milk passes undigested in nursing children so uh, nursing children of madcap uh, when they take the uh, milk uh, it passes undigested manner okay this is a symptom compared here then indigestion of teething children violent sudden vomiting of forty milky white substance or yellow fluid followed by curdled milk or cheesy matter so this is the nature of nature and how uh, the vomit will be that the symptom of this one then regurgitation of food and are or so after eating qps greenish vomiting epileptic spasm with clenched thumb red face eyes turned downwards pupil fixed and dilated firm at mouth jaws a log pulse small hard and quick so each and every symptoms regarding the examination each and every symptom in the keynote is uh, important so try to cover the, all the symptoms present in keynote and then from important symptoms from uh, boric also children during dentition summer complain when with diarrhea there is marked inability to digest milk and poor circulation symptoms set in with violence hair feels pulled vertigo with drowsiness with palpitation and head hot after vertigo stop 
then photophobia there will be a swelling of meibonia glands rolling of eyes and falling asleep eyes drawn downward pupils are dilated dozing after vomiting or stool child is so exhausted it fall asleep at once then about the modality and relationship in modality aggravation after eating or drinking or after vomiting and after stool or after spasm and in relation it can be come similar to uh, anticrude arsenicum calcarea and sanicla being a child remedy most of the children remedies has been covered here that is anticrude anticrude is there calcarea is there sanicla is also here so next about agaricus it belongs to the person with light hair skin and muscles legs old people with weak intolerant circulation drunkards especially of their headache so it's mainly drunk headache of drunkard okay and bad effect bad effects after a dehydic it's compared with lobelia nuxomica and renincleasia so in nuxomica mainly ailment after coffee tobacco alcoholic stimulants or highly spiced or seasoned food or overeating or long, uh, long continued mental exertion so these are the uh, bad effect of nuxomica and in ranglesia bulbosis bad effect of alcohol alcoholic uh, beverage and spasmodic hic hic of deliri uh, delirium tremens so in lobelia there will be a uh, what hey, uh, there will be complaints seen mainly in drunkards in people so here uh, one thing is uh, sim uh, opposite to nuxomica the temperament the, the nuxomica temperament so choleric uh, temperament so here the temperament is just opposite to nuxomica for the lobelia patient okay then headache of those who readily became delirious in fever or with pain so with pain this symptom is compared with belladonna there will be a violent delirious disposition to bite the delirium mainly the delirium uh, the delirious state is compared so here uh, violent delirious disposition to bite spit streak and tear things breaks into fits of laughter and gnashing the teeth so mainly it uh, the delirious state of the uh, belladonna uh, symptoms is compared with Uh, headache of agaricus so then in, in ballad belladonna can be uh, clinically given for adhd patients uh, such so children okay so it is a very good remedy for that too and then uh, persons of subject to chorea twitching or grimaces from spinal affection chill blinds that itch and burn intolerably first bite and all consequence of exposure to cold especially in the face involuntary movements while awake stop during sleep so here one of main symptom that all the uh, symptoms or the jerking or twitching whatever it may be all the symptoms are ameliorated while sleeping this is the key symptom one of the key symptom of uh, agaricus uh, so from simple motion and jerks of single muscle due to dancing whole body trembling of body so every this is mainly single uh, muscle paralysis uh, this uh, paralysis or uh, symptom which is mainly stop during sleeping or mainly ameliorated during sleeping so the twitching of muscle of face is compared with migraine then sensation as if ice touched or ice cold needles were piercing the skin as from hot needles and certainly in walking stumbles overthinking in the ways heel pain as if beaten when standing spine is very sensitive to touch that is compared with pteridion which is worse at morning then pain sore aching in lumbar lumbar and sacral region during exertion in the day time while sitting and again this symptom is compared with sing here in singa metallicum the spinal affection burning along the whole length of the spine and there will be a back ache so much aggravation from sitting so that's why it is compared while sitting in uh, this remedy 
ameliorated by walking about cannot bear back to touch because due to that sensitiveness okay and in the uh, then one more symptom the spine is very sensitive to touch that is combat with pterygion and here pain is sore aching in lumbo and sacral region during exertion in the day time while sitting so there will be also a aching and soreing pain in the lumbo sacral region mainly during the exertion that is also uh, peculiarized in the day time so which is also aggravated while sitting so these symptoms are comparing okay then spinal irritation due to excess sexual uh, excess then nervous prostration after sexual dehubus again this symptom is compared and next then epilepsy from suppressed eruption so in sorainam uh, this symptom is compared mainly in sorainam and this one uh, sulfur all the symptoms are mainly mainly the skin symptoms are uh, arised due to suppressed itch or other skin disease uh, this is uh, these are the things okay uh, in kind with sulfur we can see that skin affection that have been treated by medicated soap and washes so this thing when this sulfur is uh, treated and when uh, sulfur indicated but it seems to be fail we can think of sorainam here is also ailment from suppressed itch or other skin disease when sulfur fails to relieve se severe from even the slightest emotion so this is uh, that's why uh, sulfur and sorainam is compared okay and then one more thing the spinal irritation due to sexual excess is compared with caliphos because the paralytic lameness of the back and extremity exertion is aggravates so there will be a paralytic lameness of the back and extremities which is aggravated by exertion and pain with depression and subsequent exertion so patient will also have a mental uh, depression and patient will uh, after that she or he will be uh, getting a uh, weakness also okay then epilepsy from suppressed eruption that we already seen what and we seen with sorainam and sulfur then about prolapse of post climatic bearing down pain almost intolerable so this is the there will be a prolapse and mainly will post climatic in nature or a, a post climatic age group will be affected more and bearing down pain almost intolerable and this is combined with lilium tick morax and sepia so here in in uh, lilium tick we can see that bearing down sensation in abdomen and pelvis as though all the organ would escape so in lilium tick they will think the organ would escape okay mainly the sensation of abdomen and pelvis and so they need to support the valve uh, vulva by hand they and the, with the with this uh, she uh, she will develop uh, palpitation also that is a concomitant so in uh, murax um, bearing down sensation as if internal organ would be pushed out so that uh, all the organs would would escape out okay here it is then pushed out okay this is the things uh, mainly different and uh, for this she have to sit down and cross the limb in lilium tick she have to hold uh, support the vulva with hand and here she need to cross the limb which is ameliorated by pressure and one more thing uh, in murex there will be uh, excessive sexual desire and in lilium tick she will keep herself busy due to repress her sexual desire then sepia there will be a prolapse of uterus and vagina and bearing down sensation as if everything could protrude protrude from pelvis and must cross the limb so here it's everything would be protrude from the pelvis so she is must cross the limbs very tightly and sit close to prevent it with oppression of breathing so in lilium tick that is uh, the organs would escape for that she need to support her vulva with uh, with the hands for uh, along with this she will develop palpitation and in sepia bearing down sensation as if everything would protrude from the pelvis so she is crossing the limb tightly and sitting close 
sitting close to prevent it and she will develop some sort of breathing uh, difficulty and uh, it is and then morax bearing down sensation as if internal organ would be pushed out and must sit down and cross the limb and ameliorated pressure and there will be desire for sex so these are the symptoms have been compared with lilium tick murex and sepia then there will be extreme coldness extreme sensitivity to cold air calcarea calicarb and sorinum this symptom is compared with paralytic lameness in calcarea falls it is com sorry in calcarea carb is also very sensitive to cold air and next about in calcarea there will be a sensitive to no uh, sensitive to coldness will be felt throughout the uh, uh, remedy okay and sorinum as we know due to their even in the hot summer weather also they they prefer to wear a fur cloth fur cap okay so that much of sense extreme sensitiveness to cold air these are the symptoms compared here then complaints occurred diagonally upper left and lower right side andium chart it is compared with andium chart stramonium and uh, we can see that what are the symptoms and what are the uh, proper comparison okay uh, so it's something like a complaints appear diagonally is mainly seen in Uh, this remedy and it is again compared with anti tart and stramonium and then here upper right and lower left will be seen in umbra gracia so in umbra gracia also uh, there will be a Uh, upper right and lower left is affected, and bromium, medorinum, uh, phosphorus, sulfuric acid is also uh, seen the similar sort of comparison. Then few symptoms that is loquacity from boric, that loquacity, fearlessness, delirium characterized by sinking, shouting, and muttering, rhymes and. Prophases, vertigo from sunlight and on walking, headache, icy coldness like icy needles or sphincters or read difficult as type seems to move to swim, vibrating spectres and there will be a double vision. Twitching of there will some sort of twitching that is twitching of lids and eyeballs, nose bleeds in old people, cough with expectoration of the little ball of mucus, cough in sinusitis, sneeze. pain with sensitiveness of spine to touch prick in back twitching of cervical muscle paroxysms of yawning on falling asleep start stitches and wakes often yawning followed by involuntary laughter so relation similar to actia and calcarea cannabis indica cannabis indica hyos califos lacus naxomica opium stramonium in delirium of alcoholism to migel and uh, sink and in sink in korea okay and then aggravation after eating after quieters cold air mental application before a thunderstorm it's compared with phosphorus and sorinum so i forgot to mention uh, here is a comparison one thing the complaints appear diagonally that is upper left and right side no i said no so the, for that uh, stramonium mainly uh, the patient will have upper uh, means left uh, main affection mainly on the left sided okay and there will be a graceful rhythmic motion while in pain uh, in the left hip painless twitching of single muscle or the group of muscle that's mainly in the upper part of the body and mainly in the upper lower left portion okay 
and then in amra kreshi also there is a one sided affection that is also seen one sided complaints of aged with impairment of all the function weakness coldness numbness usually single parts of fingers and arms it's either be uh, right sided or one sided uh, sorry left sided it is uh, prone to one side affection then bromium there is also mostly left sided affection and mainly the migraine get uh, uh, may, uh, migraine uh, uh, attacks on left side then in medorinum also there will be a rheumatism at the top of a shoulder and arm pains extend to finger ameliorated by motion and deltoid rheumatism then phosphorus left sided painful that is a uh, uh, painful side is some um, uh, aggravation okay lying on painful side is aggravation and that is also mainly the left sided one and salicylic acid is a right sided one so most of these things are the left sided only salicylic acid is right sided ambra gracia is prone to either uh, either side it's mainly one sided either left or right it won't go uh, or it won't shift to okay. k and bromium mostly left sided mainly uh, the headache at the left side headache uh, headache that is migraine so next about agnus so agnus cactus is for the lymphatic constitution absent minded uh, reduced people reduce or reduce power of insight cannot recollect has to read sentence twice before he cannot he can comprehend it this is combined with lycopodium phosphorus and phosphoric acid and sepia then old sinners with the impotence and bleed and marry person suffering from nervous debility premature old age melancholy apathy mental destruction self contempt and arising in young person from abuse of sexual powers and from seminal loss then complete impotence relax relaxation flaccidity and coldness of genitalia no sexual power or desire and these symptoms are uh, and these symptoms are uh, combined with calidum depression with relaxed penis with sexual desire and excitement and there will be no erection even after after stops there will be no emission at all and no orgasm or during an embarrassment so mainly calidum there will be an impotence with the mental depression but uh, here it is complete impotence and uh, complete uh, impotence and no sexual power or desire okay and there will be a relaxation placidity and flow coldness of genital and in calidum mainly the impotence with mental uh, mental depression relaxed penis with sexual desire and excitement in selenium impotence with the desire and there we hear it is selenium the impotence with the desire leave it thought but physically important in calidum there is will be a mental depression impotence with mental depression and here it is physically important but there will be a uh, desire will be there and there will be leave it thought is also there and it's uh, okay that's all and then importance after frequent attack of gonorrhea bad effect of suppressed gonorrhea that is also combined with uh, medorinum in medorinum there will be a bad effect from suppressed gonorrhea and then bleed with absence of sexual desire or erection okay then a prominent remedy for sprains and strains gonoing ganwing itching in all parts especially eyes tachycardia caused by tobacco in neurotic in young man uh, nausea with sensation as if in the stain way press downwards wants to support bowels leporia transparent but staining lenin yellow causes impossibility from the very relaxed part and efficient secretion of uh, secretion or suppression of milk in nursing women that is asafoetida it's compared with asafoetida lacanenum lac deforatum and uh, this uh, this symptom is often with great sadness that uh, she will die so in 
in case of art of asafoetida there will be a deficient milk with over sensitiveness okay and ma'am uh, then lack caninum loss of milk while nursing without any unknown cause sorry without any known cause and in lack defoetum delayed and suppressed by putting hand in water and bringing a glass of milk will predominate so in lack defoetum there is a water taking a glass of milk will suppress their menses okay and in lack caninum loss of milk while uh, nursing without any known cause and in asafoetida there will be deficient milk with over sensitiveness okay. again uh, in relation cal uh, cal well after agony weakness of sexual organs or importance then next extremity is alien sipa there will be an acute catarrhal inflammation of mucous membrane with increased secretion then catarrhal dull headache with coryza aggravation in the evening and amelioration in open air and aggravation on returning to warm room so this is compared with ischemia and pulsatilla so headache headaches uh, stop during menses and returns when returns when flow disappears and this symptom is compared with lacessus and singa metallicum in lacessus headache the rush of blood to the head after alcohol mental emotion suppressed or irregular menses at climaxes left sided and apolepsy and in singa metallicum always better every way as soon as the menses begin to flow and it reveals all her suffering but they retain once again after the flow stops so mainly uh, they are talking about the headache uh, first in uh, in alien sipa the headache are related with menses and in lacessus headache with emotion and suppressed a uh, headache is due to mainly suppressed or irregular uh, menses or at the age of climaxes uh, and uh, because of the rush of blood to the head mainly uh, due to alcohol or mental emotion in singa metallicum always better whenever there is the menses begin to flow patient feels amelioration and it is uh, it relieve really all her complaints but they return once same once again the flow the st flow is stopped again the complaint will uh, re uh, return back so these are the things um, come back here coryza profuse watery and acrid nasal discharge with profuse blunt lacrimation and which is uh, reversible in for ephrasia ephrasia there is a profuse uh, full of acrid tears and blunt and fluent coryza sacred watery discharge of drooping uh, tip of nose that is compared with ars and ars sio then spring coryza after damp northeasterly wind and discharge burns and uh, corrodes snows on upper lip hay fever in august every year while in sneezing or raising from bed from handling pages nasal polyps can be compared with sanguinaria and sorainum in sanguinaria and sorainum uh, in nasal polyp in sanguinaria there is a uh, laryngeal or the laryngeal or nasal polyp polyp will seen and in sorainum dry coryza with stoppage of nose or chronic catarrh dripping from posterior nares uh, posterior nares okay and then catarrhal laryngitis cough compels the patient to grasp the larynx and seems as if cup foot tear it then colic from cold by getting feet wet or overeating from cucumbers or salads hemorrhoidal of children aggravated sitting and amelioration moving about neuralgic pain like a long thread in face head neck chest traumatic chronic neuritis neuralgia of stump after amputation burning and stinking pain and with red streaks of up the arm and pain drive to despair in child bed sore and raw spot on feet especially heel from friction efficacious when wet or rub so perpural after forceps delivery Worse in warm room towards evening. Hoarseness, hacking, cough, inspiring, 
inspiring cold air, tickling in glaring, sensational sleep, glaring, split or turn, oppressed breathing from pressure in middle of the chest. And the relation and modality is complementary to phosphorus, pulsatla, tuja, and conductible before calcarea and silesia in polyps, and similar to ephrasia. But already we seen that coriza and lacrimation are opposite. But effect of bad effect of getting wet that is combat with rustox. When combat with rustox, there is also bad effect of get, uh, getting wet. But it mainly symptom arises due to after getting wet, patient will go for overheatedness, then fever develops. This is the difference between allium sipa and rustox. Uh, bad effect of getting wet. Then aggravation predominantly in the evening and in warm room and pulsatla in uh, pulsatla is seen in similar symptom and in open air. Aggravation is seen in ephesia. Amelioration in cold room and open air. Again seen in pulsar. Then about aloes. So it's an adapted to intolerant diary person and opposed to either mental or physical uh, labor or mental labor fatigues. Old people, especially women, are relaxed to pragmatic habit, dissatisfied and angry. About himself or his complaints, especially when constipated. So, uh, disease of mucus membrane cause production of mucus in jelly-like lumps from the throat. So, these are the few important symptoms of aloes. And then headache across the forehead, aggravated by every food stuff. This is compared with belladonna and bryonia with the heaviness of eyes and nose. So in belladonna, already we have seen there is a rush of blood. So patient will have a red face, thrombic carotid and so many things. And there will be a congestive type of headache. And in bryonia, headache when stooping as if brain would burst through forehead from ironing on coughing in morning after racing or when first opening the eyes. Commencing in the morning and increases... Sorry, and it decreases until the evening. So it is also and from con headache uh, from the constipation. Headache mainly arises due to constipation. Okay, and here is also the particular uh, sensation is noted that is stooping uh, as if uh, brain would burst through forehead from uh, from the forehead. So patient will have the uh, headache with that something is bursting out from the forehead it because of ironing or on cuffing in morning after racing from the bed or first opening the eyes. And then headache are worse from heat, better from cold application. This symptom is compared with arsenicum album. Here headache is ameliorated by cold and other symptoms are aggravated by cold. Periodical burning, pain with restlessness, and with the cold skin. Then about diarrhea, has to hurry to close it immediately after eating and drinking. Protalus horridus. Sorry, protentic. Sorry, protentic is with want of confidence, pinter any, and driving out of uh, bed early in the morning, which is combined with sorinum, rumax, and sulfur. In protentic, the symptom that is comparative symptoms are diarrhea, stool, black, thin like coffee ground, offensive from nauseous, uh, ilphia or spectic matters in food or drinks from high grain. So mainly protentic, the patient will develop that uh, diarrhea, the stool which is black, thin like uh, coffee ground in nature and it is offensive mainly due to the septic origin. Okay, and from in uh, my septic matters in food or drinks. So these are the uh, main symptoms of protentic diarrhea. And again, driving out of bed early in the morning is again combined with the sorinum, rumax and sulfur. In sorinum diarrhea, sudden imp uh, imperative, stool, way, uh, watery, dark brown, fetid, smell like carrion and involuntary aggravation at night from 1 to 4 a.m. after severe acute disease, uh, teething in children and with change, weather changes. So in Swarayanam is also, there will be uh, diarrhea and the stool nature is dark brown, fetid, smell like carrion and involuntary nature and mainly aggravated from 
1 am to 4 am after severe acute disease mainly children and who children who have a uh, teething problem uh, that and uh, who are under the age of teething uh, then about rumax the early morning diarrhea from 5 to 10 am then here is also early morning diarrhea in sorainam it is 1 1 am to 4 am diarrhea and in rumax it's an early morning diarrhea 5 to 10 am uh, stool painless profuse offensive sudden urging driving out in uh, drying out of bed in morning and in sulfur diarrhea after midnight is painless driving out of bed early in the morning as if bowels were too weak to retain their content so these are the main difference then when passing uh, flatter sensation as if stool would pass with it the similar symptom can be noted in oleander neurotic as in an atrium in oleander that is a stool passes when emitting flea, uh, flatters in muriatic acid stool is involuntary while urinate urinating on passing when cannot urinate without having the bowel smooth at the same time and in natrium mu diarrhea suddenly urging gushing much flatters and first raising on standing on the uh, standing on the effect so uh, all the symptoms are more or less similar only key thing is different is only and that the stool passes when emitting the flatters okay. and then muriatic acid the stool is involuntary while urinating on passing wind so two times the stool is it became involuntary one is uh, during the uh, urination and another one is of passing flatters and in atrium there is a sudden uh, gushing uh, stool with much flat lens on the first raising or standing on the effect and next about colic attack gripping pain in the right lower portion of abdomen excoriating before and during stool all pain stops after stool Leaving profuse sweating and extreme weakness attack, visited by obstinate constipation, flatters offensive, burning pupils, much flatters with the small stool, and burning in anus after flatters. And this symptom is compared with agaricus. Then before stool, there will be a rumbling sensation and the violent sudden urging and heaviness in rectum can be seen. And during stool, there will be a tenesmus and much flatters. And after stool, there will be a faintness. then hemorrhoids which is blue like bunch of grapes in muriatic acid the hemorrhoids will be blue 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 uh, with swelling okay the swollen blue sensitive and painful to touch prolapse while urinating this is the main uh, uh, symptom between muriatic acid and dentistrum and then constant bearing down sensation in rectum bleeding so tender hot relieved by cold water and intense itching itching and burning in anus which is preventing sleep that symptom is compared with indigo and in indigo the prolapse of rectums are aroused at night with a horrible itching in the anus mainly due to the worm uh, uh, complaint mainly pin worm then itch appear each year as winter approaches then sorainam this is a dry one to despair with excessive itching uh, this symptom is compared in allows that is the skin which appears each year as winter approaches so the next remedy is sorry uh, before that a few symptoms from body that is lumbago alternating with headache and piles aches above forehead with heaviness in eyes and must partially close them very good conditions of pains in pharynx sensation of plug between symbiosis pubis and os coccyx are with urging to stool and aggravation early morning sedentary life uh, hot dry weather after eating or drinking standing or walking amelioration cold air cold weather discharge of flatters and stool and relation it's mainly uh, uh, linked with or compared with uh, sulfur in many chronic disease with abdomen pleura and congestion of portal circulation developed in suppressed eruption so similar to umbra gracia axomica and podophyll the next drug is alumina the alumina is adapted to the person who suffers from chronic disease and this is called echinacea of chronic disease constitution is deficient in animal heat and in which is compared with calcarea and silesia the calcarea the disease arising uh, from defi- uh, defective assimilation and imperfect ossification 
and in case of silesia the nutrition is not became uh, the uh, uh, for example for example you know uh, in silesia the nutrition is not a problem at all only there is a problem in the digestion side okay so nutrition is not uh, because of food is lacking in quantity or quality but from imperfect assim uh, assimilation and over sensitiveness physically and mentally due to this uh, uh, there will be some changes in silesia excuse me wait a minute Thank you, ma'am, for your valuable session. I'm sorry, sorry for the in interruption. Now the slide is visible, no? So, yes, I'm visible. Constitution is deficient in animal, as we seen already. Calcarea sigisia and spare dry thin subject and dark complexion. There is a mind cheerful disposition and hypochondriacs. Time passes too slowly and hours seems half a day, and which is compared with cannabis indica. And in cannabis indica. Time seems too long. A few seconds seems ages, and distance seems immense. Few rods seems miles. So here, patient will, uh, patient or person will see, uh, think that the time is too long. Okay, that even the few seconds uh, seems an age, and the distance seems immense. Few rods to see my even a short distance are uh, uh, seen as a miles. So these are the things, and then abnormal appetite. Craving for starch, charcoal, chalk, and claws and cheek grounds, acids and indigestible thing, which is combined with secuta, sorinum, and with. Uh, at that time, the potatoes, uh, potatoes also disagree. This is the one one of the important symptom can be seen in alumina. In secuta, abnormal appetite for chalk and indigestible things for coal or charcoal. children eats them with apparent relish so secutus or secuta also patient will have the uh, children will have abnormal uh, appetite for chalk chalk and indigestible things mainly coal and charcoal and then in sorinum uh, hung, hungry in the middle of the night must have to have something to eat that is the difference seen in alumina and sorinum then constipation no desire uh, for and no ability to pass stool until there is a large accumulation and this is a milli uh, milli lotus and this symptom is combined with constipation difficult painful constriction constriction in anus and thrombing fullness and no desire until there is a large accumulation so milli lotus is the uh, milli lotus also patient will have a uh, constipation and which is a difficult in nature and uh, very painful and contraction in the anus with the thrombing and fullness and there is no desire until there is a large accumulation 
and for uh, this is the comparative symptom with milli lotus and then great straining much grasp the seed to close tightly stool hard knotty like uh, laurel berries covered with mucus or soft clay adhering to the parts when come when coming to this symptom that had the adhering to the parts this is compared with the platina and here constipation while traveling after lead poisoning from inertia of bowels frequent unsuccessful urging stool adhere to the rectum and anus like a soft clay okay so this is the main symptom mainly uh, the constipation arising from travel or the after lead poisoning and uh, it's the uh, frequent unsuccessful uh, urging stool and adhering to the rectum and anus like a soft clay then constipation of nursing children from artificial food bottle free babies of old people of pregnancy from inactive rectum and inactivity of rectum even soft stool requires straining and which is compared with pulsatla silesia and veratrum album uh, yeah before that the constipation of nursing yes constipation of nursing children are from the artificial food and bottle feed of babies and old people no in that the old people this symptom is compared with lycopodium and opium in lycopodium it has been mentioned and since puberty uh, since puberty since last confinement uh, when away from home of infants with ineffectual urging uh, rectum contracts and protrude during the stool developing piles so it has been seen that from since puberty and since last confinement and in opium constipation of children children of uh, corpulent and good natured women in action or passes no desire from lead poisoning and hard round black uh, balls feces protrude and reside so in opium also the children will have a constipation of uh, corpulent and good natured okay and the nature of the stool is like a uh, round black like balls or feces and next about uh, preg of pregnancy from inactivity rectum this inactivity rectum is combat with sepia uh, mainly the sepia is indicated for all the complaints during the pregnancy so constipation during pregnancy stool the stool is hard knotty in ball insufficient uh, difficult pain in in rectum during and long after stool sense of weight all or hole in the anus not ameliorated by stool so here is also patient will have the uh, constipation mainly during the pregnancy and the nature of the stool is very hard and knotty in ball and it's insufficient and the patient will feel very difficult uh, to pass and there will be a pain in rectum and the pain will last mainly during the uh, uh, defecation or after the stool then inactivity of rectum even the soft stool required great straining this symptom is compared with anacardium pulsatla silesia veratrum great desire for stool but but with effort the desire passes away without evacuation rectum seems uh, rectum seems powerless okay so in anacardium is also patient will have a great desire for stool but the effort the desire passes away without evacuation and then in pulsatla powerless paralyzed with the sensation as if plugged up no two stools alike so there is a being a pulsatla there is a changeability so stools are in nature of the stools also uh, it go, go it goes on changing then silesia difficult from inactivity of rectum with the great straining as if rectum was paralyzed when partially expelled reside again feces remain along the time in the rectum so here is in silesia also pay, uh, difficult to pass due to the inactivity of the rectum with the great straining as if rectum was paralyzed and then veratrum again it's a constipation patient will have no desire at all and the stool is large and hard in round black balls a uh, similar stool can be seen in opium also as we saw already from inactivity rectum and frequent desire felt in epigastrium and painful of infants and children leucorrhea 
acrid and profuse running down to the heel uh, which is combined with siflinum that is leucorrhea profuse soaking through the napkin and running down to the heel so in uh, this one in alumina the leucorrhea is very acrid and profuse running down to the heel and in siflinum leucorrhea is profuse soaking through the napkin and then running down to the heel uh, then about uh, it was it was during the daytime and ameliorated by cold bath after menses exhausted physically and mentally scarcely able to speak that is carbon animalis and coccus and in carbon and carbon animalis after the appearance of menses so weak she can hardly speak menses flow flowing only in morning and in coccus already we seen that there is due to the a weakness of lower limb and she is a very scarcely able to stand uh, mainly after the period uh, with the constant hemorrhoids okay and then inability to walk except with the eyes open and in the daytime tottering and falling when closing eyes and this symptom is compared with argentum nitricum and gelsinium great weakness of lower excitement with trembling cannot walk with eyes closed so this is the comparative symptom in gelsinium there will be a lack of muscular coordination so there will be a confused so muscular refer, uh, muscular uh, muscles are refused to obey their will and complete relaxation and prostration okay so these are the symptom noted here and then skin about the skin dry tarry itchy eruption worse in winter which is compared with the petroleum in petroleum the skin of the hand is rough and it's cracked and the mainly seen in the tip of the finger uh, with cracked and fissures every winter it's a, there is a periodicity present in uh, petroleum that aggravation in every winter tendency to uh, feet which are bathed in foul smelling sweat so this is the symptom and then intolerable itching of whole body when getting warm in bed is again compared with sulfur and scratches until bleed and then became painful so similar symptoms is noted and there will be a burning pain in sarsin sulfur then few symptom hasty hurry time passes slowly variable mood suicidal tendency when sinking knife or blood potato disagree Cond um, condiments pro produce cough uh, then no desire to eat can swallow but small morsel at a time constriction of esophagus left sided abdominal complaints no desire evacuation presided by painful urging long before stool and then straining at stool legs feel asleep especially when sitting with leg crossed starts on walking and feel heels feel numb then modality aggravation in cold air during winter while sitting from eating potato after eating soup on alternate days at a new full moon amelioration mild summer weather from warm drinks and while eating this, this is compared with sorainum in wet weather it is compared with costicum then relation alumina is one of the chief antidote for lead poisoning and pain is colic and ailment from lead complementary to bryonia uh, then follows well by bryonia lacus is sulfur then alumina is the chronic of bryonia uh, similarly to barita carp and conium in ailments of old people then next remedy is ambra gracia it's mainly adapted for the children especially in young girls who are excitable nervous and weakness nervous affection of old people and nervous worn out lean thin emaciated person who take cold easily and get uh, sorry great sadness sit for a day and weeping after business embarrassment unable to sleep must get up and this symptom is compared with simsifuga and septia in simsifuga there will be a great depression with the dreams of impending evil and in septia it is easily afonent is the main symptom then ran, uh, ranula with fetid breath which is which is compared with tuja there is a ranula bluish or varicose vein on tongue or in mouth sensation and uh, next about sensation of coldness in abdomen as the which is compared with calcarea in calcarea carp as i told earlier there will be a, a generalized a coldness is present in single parts like a hand a stomach abdomen feet and legs and there will be a one of another uh, characteristic symptoms is seen in the calcarea next about 
the presence of others even the nurse is unbearable during the stroke frequent ineffectual desire which make her anxious discharge of blood between periods at every little accident a long walk after very hard stool etc leucorrhea is thick bluish white mucus especially or only at night it's mainly combined with causticum mercurius nitric acid and nitric acid so in causticum we can see the menses is too early too feeble only during the day and sees on lying down so in causticum patient will have a too early menses or too feeble menses and when uh, mainly during the day time and stops when lying down in milk there is a nitric burning itching with rawness always worse at night pruritus aggravated from contract of urine which must be washed off and then in nitric acid leucorrhea brown flush colored water or sturgy offensive so then in the cuff there is a violent cuff in spasmodic spasm spasmodic sorry spasmodic uh, paroxysms with irritation and hoarseness or stalking and reading at loud this symptom uh, can be compared with drosera and phosphorus in drosera mainly the cough is aggravated by warmth and ringing and sinking laughing weeping and lying down after midnight and there will be a nature of the cough is whooping cough which is violent paroxysms which flow which sorry which follow each other rapidly and scarcely able to breathe this is also another important symptom of drosera then in phosphorus also the cough uh, the cough mainly from uh, laughing talking reading drinking eating and lying on left side so next this cough is going from and warm to cold air when when the cough get uh, when the cough is get into this uh, symptom means when we are going from warm to cold air then hyoscyamus cough is dry nocturnal spasmodic aggravation when lying down and relieved by sitting up and aggravation at late sorry at night after eating drinking and talking singing so it all uh, this all these symptoms we are seeing that is a common aggravation which is uh, eating laughing weeping lying down and again this, these are the similar uh, compare comparison uh, found in these drugs okay then whooping cough but without crowing inspiration and some points from boric there is a great remedy for the aged with the impairment of all function weakness coldness numbness usually of single parts finger arms etc one side complaints call for it mucus aggravates symptoms tearing pain in upper half of brain senile and dizziness hearing impaired feeling in the urethra as if few drops passed out during turbid even during emission palpitation with pressure in the chest as if from lung larger there or as if chest was obstructed cannot see sleep from worry must get up worse music presence of strangers from any unusual things then aggravation from warm drinks warm room music lying down reading or talking loud or presence of many people after walking amelioration after eating cold air cold food the drinks are rising from bed a relationship that is combined with that combined and similar to actia asafoetida coca and ignisia and mosca uh, phosphorus and malaria the next and last remedy is ammonium cart the children is uh, okay this is also one of the children remedy and we can think of a child and in some cases we can uh, and in most of the cases we can think of uh, for women also so the women uh, who belongs to hemorrhagic diathesis fluid blood and degeneration of red blood corpuscles ulceration tendent to gangrene stout fleshy women with various troubles in consequence of leading a sedentary life delicate women who must have the smelling bottle continually uh, at hand and readily catch cold in the winter so children of this is uh, children of ammonium carb is also dislike washing like an anti crude and sulfur in the anti crude the aversion to cold bathing and child cries when washed or bathed with cold water 
and in sulfur aversion or to being washed always always there will be an uh, aversion and all the complaints get aggravated after bathing this is the thing and loses breath while falling asleep must waken and get breath and this symptoms is compared with lachesis and breath. then headache sensation as if full of as if forehead would burst salary we seen in uh, compare with belladonna and glononia and next symptom about nose bleed and this uh, when the nose is bleed when washing the face uh, the nose should be bleed and this symptom is compared with arnica and meckarp and in the hands in the morning from left nostril after eating so when uh, washing the face is compared with arnica and meckarp in arnica epistasis after every fit of coughing and dark fluid blood and nose feels very sore so this is the main symptom epistasis after every fit of coughing and dark fluid blood and next about and the hands in the morning uh, from left nostril and after eating then stoppage of nose mostly at night must breathe through the mouth echino to even in diphtheria long lasting paresa snuffles of infants mainly is uh, compared with hepa nexomica and sambucus and sticta in hepa there will be a stopped up every time he goes out into the cold air so um, there will be a constant stopped out feeling when he go, uh, when he goes into the cold air and smell like old cheese in anaxomica snuffles of infant coryza which is dry and mainly at night flu and by the day uh, then aggravation in warm room and ameliorated in cold air from sitting in a cold place as stone step and in sambucus there will be a dry coryza of infant sniffles nose dry completely obstructed and prevent the preventing and breathing preventing breathing okay so sambucus is also uh, this uh, children uh, feel that dry coryza and it's completely obstructed and uh, prevent this child to sleep then sicta the sensation of fullness at the root of the nose atopic rhinitis dryness of nasal membrane constant need to blow to the nose but not the discharge then cholera like symptoms in the commencement of menstruation it's mainly seen in the veratrum and uh, bovista it's a compare it's comparing with and in veratrum there will be dysmenorrhea and vomiting purging and exhausting diarrhea with the severe uh, cold sweat on the forehead that is the important that the profuse cold sweat on the forehead is an important symptom uh, in concerned with uh, veratrum album and in bovista diarrhea during and before menses menses which is too early presided by gripping colic acrid makes the thigh sore copious at night when sitting this symptoms is already we seen and compared with cinematarium menses and with uh, to take colic sadness fatigue especially with thighs yawning and chilliness so one of the best remedy one of the best remedy uh, in the emphysema cough is dry tingling throat as from dust every morning from 3 a 3 to 4 a uh, then deep seated periosteal pain will be seen in dyscoria and the silesia so 3 to 4 am aggravation uh, this symptom is mainly compared with calicar there here the asthma will be aggravated worse from 2 2 am to 4 am and the asthma is relieved uh, relieved when sitting up or bending forward or by rocking worse the next symptom the deep seated periosteal pain is seen in dyscoria there will be a felons in the beginning when pricking is uh, pricking is the first felt then nails is brittle cramps in the flexors of the fingers and toes then silesia that in growing toenails and the blood boils carbuncle ulcers of all kinds fistula painful offensive high spongy edges proud pressures in them and then about body red as if from scolartina it's compared with aliander there will be a miliary livid rashes uh, returns annually large blisters filled with a dark serum 
uh, irregular patchy liquid eruption dis uh, disappearing on pressure cold and trains disease so this is the symptom is come back then uh, malignant scarlatina with deep sleep serotosis breathing and miliary rashes or fine uh, faintly developed eruption from defective vitality thread and paralysis of brain which is combined with tuberculinum and singa metallicum in tuberculinum the eczema is tubular over, uh, this is over the entire body and there will be an intense itching which is aggravated at night when an undressing from bathing immense quantity of white brand like scales oozing behind the ears in the hair and the folds of skin with rawness and soreness fiery red skin and there will be a presence of ringworm and then measles and psoriasis everything will be there uh, so mainly uh, the itching gets aggravated when when uh, undressing and bathing and it's affected the entirely body and the immense quantity is which is white brand like scales this is the nature of tuberculinum skin and which is oozing mainly behind the ears or in the hairs or in folds and the skins with rawness soreness fiery red skin and ringworm so this condition can be these symptoms are observed in psoriasis and some of the symptoms is observed in measles also and in singa metallicum the eczema is especially in the anemic and neurotic and itching of thighs in the hollows of the knee uh, and it is the retrocession of uh, eruption and next about the few symptoms that is a great aversion to water cannot bear to touch it and uncleanliness in bodily habit urinia heaviness in all organ to take pressing teeth together sense shocks through head and eyes and ears diphtheria when nose is stopped up bleeding piles worse during menses and then this uh, modalities are aggravation from cold wet weather wet toilet and from washing uh, and during menses and amelioration lying down actia it's compared with actia and on the painful side is compared with pulsatla lying on painful side amelioration is compared with pulsatla and in dry weather so relationship it is antidote and poisoning with rust stalk sensings of insect and effect of red, uh, right side most uh, and inimical to lacosis so it is mostly right side at remedy and it is inimical to lacosis and being uh, well seeing into the aggravation and amelioration uh, cold wet weathers are aggravating uh, this one and then during the menses and washing is also aggravation and amelioration lying on abdomen uh, then the painful side lying is also an amelioration and in dry weather is also amelioration so that's all about my topic today if you have any doubt please uh, post it uh, post it in your comment box uh, thank you hope you will get understand my topics it seems as a vast topic so here is drug by drug so that 